Okay, today we're gonna replace the battery on iPower 3rd generation and pump it to flash drive. We need an iPod, iFixit uh, battery replacement kit, a compact flash card and an adapter. The kit includes the battery itself and a couple of tools. In terms of card, you may use any compact flash card, 32 gigs, and it doesn't need to be really fast. The converter converts the compact flash to IDE sleeve. First of all, let's check the card if it's okay and format it. I use Disk Utility on Mac OS X. Then let's open the iPod itself. You should start from the side where the headphone jack is. Be careful to take two halves apart. First you need to disconnect the headphone jack ribbon cable. Then you need to disconnect the ribbon cable of the hard drive from the logic board. Now we can change the battery. First remove the screw uh, next to the battery connector and disconnect the battery from the logic board. Now we can connect the new battery. Be careful uh, when placing the battery cable. I think uh, the iFixit battery has too long cable. So be patient to place it properly. Ok, now the battery is in place and we have to replace the hard drive to compact flash card. First disconnect the hard drive and connect the compact flash converter. For your attention, there is a plastic pin on the hard drive ribbon cable and it might be broken when connecting the converter. I use a 3M double-sided tape to fix the converter to the bottom damper of the hard drive. Now connect the ribbon cable to the logic board. and place the top damper. I use IKEA chair dampers for the compact flash card. Now we have connected the headphone jack cable. and assemble two halves. Ok, let's connect iPod to computer. There's a file system error. And let's wait till iTunes can see the iPod. Now you should choose restore and update option. Ok, now you can upload a couple of tracks and check if it's ok. 
By the way, the iPod now is much lighter. You may see all the links in the video description.